And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, we're still in the undercard. Introducing first, from Romania, make some noise for Maxim Lesko. Here comes Maxime Pleshko for this 75 kilogram matchup, our last of three undercard fights here at Via Kickboxing, volume 27. Pleshko, a familiar face to Via Kickboxing fans, has a professional record of seven and three. Lost to Mina Holy Manoli back in March, and now will fight his teammate here tonight from the champion gym, Victor Apostol. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Romania, introducing from Moldova, make some noise for Victor Apostol. Victor Apostol of Moldova, undefeated, is the 23 year old, 3 and 0 in his career, represents the champion Jim and trains under Trochin Ikanor. All three of his fights have been here in FIA Championships in Moldova. He says he only feels positive vibes coming into this matchup. And he also said he wants to demonstrate a very high level match that the audience can enjoy. Has to have a kind of a carefree kind of an attitude coming down here. Maybe he does just feel positive vibes. Four of the lovely Via girls in attendance here. Ladies Looking and gentlemen, on. Victor Apostol. And now presenting the blue corner, weighing 75 kilogram, height 1.80 meters, having a personal record of 10 fights, 7 wins, and 3 losses. He's fighting for Romania. Make some noise for Maxim Lesko. Presenting the red corner. Weighing 71 kilogram, height 1.78 meters, having a personal record of three fights, three wins, and never lost. He's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Victor Apostol. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight under 71 kilogram. Three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Well, you heard it, this one at 75 kilos. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the evening, we're going to establish the first ever FIA light heavyweight champion later tonight in the main event. Time. And we already have a heavyweight champion in Roman Kriklia. And FIA does Fight. plan on establishing several other Round champions, one. FIA champions in 2019, this one at 75 kilos, so it's somewhere between lightweight and welterweight. So if these two do plan on competing for a title here in FIA, they will have to adjust their weight accordingly. Good low kick there in response from Pleshko in the red shorts, head kick blocked. Couple of straight lefts and rights landing there from Opostol. This is a FIA ranking fight, so certainly a win here is mandatory. If you want to climb the ladder, they don't just hand out 
title opportunities around here to where whoever they feel like it. They really have to earn your way and work your way up the ladder here in FIA. It's one of the things I really like is, uh, you know, Moldova is a small country. There's a large number of fighters here in comparison to how big the country is. However, it's not just the local fighters that get the opportunities here. Any foreigner who can come in here and prove himself will be invited back and will be taken seriously as a contender in the future. And certainly Romania, just a hop, skip, and a jump away here from Moldova. Moldova kind of wedged between Romania and Ukraine in Eastern Europe. Cracking low kick there from Apostol. Runs in now with a knee, had both hands though behind the head. Referee warning about the clinch. He does have at his disposal whenever he should feel obliged, the yellow card. Wow, look at this slugfest developing here. And if a fighter does get the yellow card, it will be minus one point. You can get a maximum of two yellow cards. The third one will end in disqualification. Look at this fluid motion here on the part of Victor Apostol. Jumps in now. Closing seconds here of round number one. Both guys trying to get their licks in here before the bell. End of the round. Well, take a look at that championship belt there at ringside. That's what it's all about tonight. The first ever FIA light heavyweight tournament will commence later in the evening once we get to the FIA World Grand Prix portion of the event. That's a beautiful belt, by the way. If you haven't seen it, Check out some of the pictures on Facebook. It's absolutely gorgeous. But right now we've got two 75 kilos fighters in the ring and we're round underway two. with round number two. Head kick goes in that time. I think it went right through the glove and in fact his foot may have actually wrapped around the glove and caught him partially in the ear area. Look at that, just marching forward with lefts and rights, and Pleshko responding to the head. Push kick now lands from Apostol. Tell you what, this kid knows how to generate power. He got caught backing up, though, with a right hand from Maxim Pleshko. You can see there is a size difference here between these two. They, like I said, this one is at 75. It seems to me like Pleshko might be a better fit for 71, whereas Aposto may be a better fit for 77. Should these two have to actually choose a weight category here in FIA, which is represented by a champion, either lightweight or welterweight. There just seems to be a size difference between these two. On paper, Pleshko is the taller fighter. Whoa, I don't see that. Look at these two unloading now. Pleshko lands a big right hand. Well, these two throwing caution to the wind here in round number two. Big combo that time from a postal. You could feel that one as the cameraman there at ringside, takes the action right into your living room. Right. 
Both these guys swinging for the fences here. And you can see the results written all over the bodies of these two. Lots of swelling and bruising up and down the body, especially under the left eye of a postal there, as you can see. There's another big right hand in that area. Take a look at the right side of the body, the back of the shoulders, the arms, the triceps, all reddened from the kicks of Victor Apostol. Here he comes once again. Knee on the inside, a very physical confrontation here in round two inside the FIA ring. Well, they may have hit each other simultaneously that time. Here comes a postal, punches and bunches, and he really likes that flying knee from a distance once he has his opponent backing up. It's a good way to close the distance quickly and deliver a good shot in the meantime. End of round two. Once again, we see Pavel Zhiravlev here at ringside discussing something with FIA president Doran Damir. Zhiravlev's as much of an expert on FIA kickboxing as anybody. I mean, he's here at ringside religiously at every show. He doesn't live so far away. I think he lives in Odessa, Ukraine. Man, there was a couple instances here in round number two where these two just, as I said, threw caution to the wind and just said, all right, let's do it. Let's try to settle it here. Boy, look at that shot. A jam-packed Minaj Arena here in Kishino. As is also the norm. Round three, final Boy, round. These walls could talk here in the Minaj Arena. The, the kind of brutality and violence that they've seen over the years, you can see printed on the ring apron, 10 years of the Fighting Entertainment Association via brand. They started from very meager, humble beginnings, and they have certainly grown and evolved into one of the most exciting brands of kickboxing on the planet. Great combo there, he tags on a low kick on the end. Head kick blocked on the gloves there, bounced off the ropes and came back in the Pleshko, who was unable to really capitalize on that moment there. Things happened so quickly inside the ring. Just a little bit out of range with that kick and nearly turned his back on his opponent. It's moments like that too though that, well, I may have got in an extra shot there with that leg, but it's moments like that where you've kind of half got your back turned too, that you've gotta be weary of your opponent when he's like that, because you can unload with a spinning back fist or some other spinning technique there. Pleshko really got his head snapped backwards with that shot. Clubbing overhand right. A glancing blow that time from a postal. Easy for me to say, a glancing blow. I wasn't the one absorbing it. Inside a minute now, left in the fight. Here comes Fleshko. Referee having his hands full here with these two, trying to get them separated. Look at those powerful shots. He's really stretching out fully when he delivers those blows. Pleshko does a little bit of separating on his own. Push kick backs up Pleshko. 
10 second hammer goes down now. Oposto seems to have some blood trickling out of his nose and that will end the fight. This one goes to the scorecards. Take another look at round three action. A post off and Pleshko in our third and final undercard matchup of the evening. After this fight, we will go to the beginning of the FIA World Series. The main event in the second portion gonna be a five round KOK featherweight championship match between Stanislav Ronita and Dmitry Sirbu. And the third part of the card later in the evening, the FIA World Grand Prix. And we establish the first ever light heavyweight champion. And momentarily, we will go to Mike Diamonds for the official announcement. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by unanimous for Moldova Victor Apostol. Apostol showing his power, showing his determination, showing his...